pessoal, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that does a lot of makeup videos, but do I really? I don't know. But I apply a lot of makeup and today I'm going to do a <laughs> get ready with me. I'm going to use one of my absolute favorite palettes, which is Secret Palette from Nobla. There is a lot of Nobla now on my channel, I think. <laughs> But it's okay. I love Nobla and I know that a lot of you do as well. And today it is when I'm filming this. It's Saturday. I don't know when this is coming up. We are getting into this. I'm home alone. I'm going to drink some. I did drink this in one other. It's red with me. If you live in Sweden, because I only think this is available in Sweden because it is a Swedish drink thingy. This is an apple cider with hop, I think it's called, that is non-alcoholic. And if you don't drink alcohol, or if you just want something, a cider that isn't that sweet, I can really recommend this. I do love this. I buy it over and over again, and I am not a beer drinker, and hop is a beer thing. <laughs> but this is actually so good. I love this. I have two cats in the background. I hope they can behave. You never know with them. And yeah, I'm just going to do a get ready with me today. And I'm going to try to talk about some personal stuff. And this might be like, maybe I should put in a, tr a trigger warning. I hate, I hate those things, but I, I don't know where this is going. I have some things that I think that I want to talk about. But I'm not knowing if I want to. If I want to share them. If... Um, yeah, I, I just don't know. So maybe this video is just for myself. Maybe this will never come out. I don't know. But you know what? I'm just going to go with the flow. Maybe I'm going to cut away a lot of things. I do not know. I think we just have to wait and see. Do you know what I want to do? I want to find... And after this I think I'm going to try to do a decluttering video because I'm going crazy with my makeup table right now. I'm going to put on this Filler Instinct from NYX. This is just a clear... Uh, plumping gl glaze, gloss, glaze thingy. I do not know what I feel about it. So the things I want to talk about that might can be triggering is maybe a little bit of weight and mental health. And we will see how much I want to share. We will see what I do feel like and I'm not going to I might write down in the description what I'm using I don't know if I'm up for writing it or not but I'm thinking of doing kind of a simple I'm sure look it is an orange shimmer in this that I want to use and do like a half cut crease half cut crease and with my mental health and with my uploading on YouTube has been a little bit rocky the latest. I was first in a really good place with my YouTube. I did put up a lot of videos but then I just I just have so low energy and this week when I'm filming this I felt so bad. I've been doing not good at all this week. It has been a hell week. Yesterday and Friday it's starting to get better, but like the rest of the week has I have been struggling like a lot. And I'm so happy that I have an amazing boyfriend that always is there for me. And if I say to him like can we just stay in the sofa today? He's always up for that and he's always like, 
yeah, there for me. And uh, now I'm starting to feel better. And I have been feeling <laughs> not good. Okay, I have never been diagnosed. I have never done like this thing in Sweden. And I guess it's so in a lot of countries. If you're going to have like a diagnose, you have to be at like a therapist and at the doctors. And they have to do like an extended examination on you. I have never done that. Uh, when I was 17, I had my first anxiety attack, like my first panic attack, and I did go to a therapist like a couple of times. And when I was 17, my parents did divorce, and that somehow triggered, I think those feelings uh, it has happened things before that that i think has led up to this i <sighs> okay it's now like i don't know this is going to the internet people can see this i don't know how comfortable i am to talk about this but i think it's important to like share feelings you have and I know that a lot of people has been through the same as I have. And I think it's important to share experience. Because even though you feel like shit, it always feels a little bit better if you can talk to people that has gone through the same things. But okay, I didn't have the best uh, upbringing at home. It was good. Nothing like with that, but like in school, I didn't have that many friends, and it was more than one day that I came home from school crying when I was little, uh, the first years of school. And then uh, I've been hurt by boys when I was younger, and uh, then my parents did divorce and even though I was pretty old when it happened, it still affected me. And I had my first panic attack and they have been with me ever since. So I went to the therapist a couple of times and it was like, yeah, it is anxiety that you are feeling. But I have never had it on paper, I have never taken medications for it. And now I am 32, so almost half of my life I have been have I have been having these feelings. It's much better now. It doesn't happen that often anymore. And I'm better to uh, control it. Uh, but sometimes I really need to think like maybe I should go and see someone <laughs> and talk about it because I'm not. 100% as you should be uh, but at the same time it doesn't feel like I have been through enough shit to okay this I don't know how to explain this I don't know if you're going to understand what I'm saying but it feels like for me that I haven't had any traumas in my life and that I I'm not allowed to feel bad because I have had it good. But at the same time, I know that it's not like you have to go through these things to be allowed to not feel good. I know that. But a part of me is like, no, I haven't been through enough shit to be entitled to feel bad. I really hope that you understand what I'm saying. And please tell me that you sometimes feel the same. And I also know that all of us sometimes in our lives have bad periods. Almost everybody has some time in their life when they are not 100% good. And that I totally get. And yeah, 
but at the bright side I'm feeling a lot better now um, mainly I think because I've grown up um, I have uh, routines in my life I work and uh, yeah but sometimes I'm down in the I'm down on the shit again but now it doesn't happen that often anymore so I'm like okay I'm going to do this on my own but I like don't know and also I where am I even going with this video I don't know now I'm going to talk about periods and if you are disgusted by that you can just click out of this video but I am a woman I have a uterus that bleeds so yeah if you don't want to hear it not my problem okay I shouldn't have taken the black one um I did uh, get rid with me it must be about that I quit taking birth controls um, because I am apparently sensitive to hormones did anybody told me this when I was 17 and start taking them no but I have been off birth controls for two years maybe three years I don't know and like the period cramps and things surrounding my period as getting worse and worse and worse and I have a really <laughs> maybe this is too much to share I have a really short cycle and uh, it's it's like a never-ending story I am never like alone from the hormones surrounding these things and uh, just because I have a short cycle I can't like even talk uh, about this in Swedish so I don't know why I thought that I could do it in English and uh, I know that it's affecting me and I know that I should do something about it <laughs> but like in Sweden only if you have problems with your period the only or like premenstrual syndrome I don't know the only like thing you get is like yeah you can start with birth control so you don't have your period anymore but it's like I'm sensitive to those so no I don't want to and I think it's a really strange way um, to <laughs> get rid of a problem I think it's just a strange thing to like try to handle the problem and I don't want to do it and uh, yeah <laughs> I just uh, don't know what I want to do a part of me is thinking like maybe I should start to work out again I have had periods in my life where I have worked out a lot I should have taken this in my crease instead why didn't I do that like heavy weightlifting and I loved it and uh, when I think back to it I didn't feel so bad when I was doing that like mentally and when I trained like the most in my life I trained like five days a week and I did deadlifts and squats and bench press and I loved to feel strong I loved to <laughs> scare other people at the gym that was like looking at me when I was making deadlifts heavy deadlifts and yeah I did love it and I'm starting to think that I want to do that again but it's just like I don't want to feel weak and I know I'm going to feel really weak because it was a long time ago since I did train like that <laughs> and at the same time I want to have time for YouTube and I want to have time for training but it's not that many hours on a day so I can do both both I don't know and I know that you that are watching me 
are like the most supportive people and I know if I would only putting up one video a week I know he still would support me I know that but it's just that I don't know if I how I want to do it it feels like I want to be posting more but yeah I just think that I have to start somewhere and maybe I, I know that I don't need to train like five days a week I know that it's enough to train one day a week and uh, but I am one of these people that I want to have it all or nothing I hate to be bad at things so I often don't want to learn new things because if I'm not good at it the first time I do not want to try anymore I know that is such a stupid I hate that about myself like when I'm trying to learn something new and I suck at it at first time at, as you usually do because you have never done it before I'm like okay I hate this I don't want to do this anymore and that is so strange I, I don't know why I work like that but I, I just do and I know that if I can't like be 100% training and 100% YouTube, I don't want to do it because I don't think it's good enough then. And that is just so stupid. I just think that I need to start to go to the gym. Maybe I can go on Sundays. And just... Just see. Do I still really like to lift weights? Is it something that I want to do? But I actually think it is. Okay, I do really like how this is turning out. It's really like dark and this orangey shimmer. I do really like it. And I think that the black actually was good to take in my crease. So yeah, I'm happy about this look. I do really like it. And if we're going to get in a little bit to wait. I know it is a sensitive thing to talk about. And I am all about like loving yourself. But I also think that you can still love yourself even if you want to change yourself. But sometimes it feels like nowadays you should feel bad if you want to do anything about your body. I think sometimes it feels like this body positive thing has been flipped over. And I don't think we should judge people for wanting to change themselves. I'm not saying that losing weight is going to make you happy. Because it's not. I know that. When I felt my worst, I was my skinniest. Uh, so I know that the low weight doesn't make you happy. But at the same time, changing your body is not always connected to have a low weight. Like, or only focusing on the scale. It's not. It's about like shaping your body in the way you want to. And I feel like it's important to remember that if somebody wants to change how they look, you should support them. As long as they are healthy, of course, uh, because it can spiral out of control. But I think it's important to remember like it is okay to want to change your body. If you want to lose weight, you should be ashamed. If you want to be skinnier, you should be ashamed. And I do not like that. But I'm all for loving yourself how me how however you might look. I'm all for that. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, when people say they want to lose weight, you often hear like, no, but you should try to learn to love yourself. But I think to love to learn, love to learn, learn to love yourself, it's so much more uh, than just your body. 
It's about your brain as well. So what should we talk about more? Now I'm feeling so much more nervous to put this video up. So about my upload loading things. I have, as for right now, more than one video, if you say it like that, that I haven't edit but that is recorded and everything and I have just been I have never liked to edit videos like I'm so jealous of people that do YouTube like yeah I love to edit and I'm like how but also my computer is it's getting a little bit older and it is starting to be so slow and maybe that is one reason why I don't like to edit right now I don't know but editing has never been my favorite thing I so badly wish that I would love it because it would make this so much easier <laughs> when you are not like in the mood to Maybe I, I have been like in the mood to film, but then I'm like remembering, yeah, I have to edit this shit as well. And I start and I like see myself on the screen and I'm like, what the hell? What the hell is this? Then I don't feel like, woohoo, I'm going to film today and I'm going to have to edit it. And uh, yeah, I do not just like that right now. Never have and I think I never will. So that has also been a problem. I have just like filled up my memory cards. <laughs> then I'm like, yeah, I have to empty them. And I put everything to my computer and then I just film some more and then I'm like, yeah, maybe I should put something up that I actually have filmed. But as for right now, I just hate to edit. And I'm sick and tired of hearing my own voice. And it just, it is no fun. And now the thing that is always happening when I'm doing a get with me is happening. I don't know what to talk about anymore. I'm so sorry about that. And I'm so sorry about if I did offend anybody. <sighs> with what I was talking about earlier. I'm so sorry. <sighs> And I know it's not like an excuse to say like, English is not my first language. But sometimes I'm having a hard time to, it's hard to talk about more sensitive stuff when it's not your first language. Because, yeah, should I talk about this? This is going to be really boring. <laughs> but I've talked about this a little before, but in Sweden, you learn English. When I was in school, you learn start to learn it when you were around eight, nine years old. And then you are having it till you are... I... I had it until I was 18. And we also watch a lot of... Yeah, maybe this sh is shocking to some of you, but when we watch a movie or... A Syria that is made in a different country than Sweden, it is going to be in the language that it is originally. Like with Squid Game, when we watch Squid Game in Sweden, we watch in, in Korea. Korea. Korean. They speak Korean. And La Casa de Papay, we watch it when they talking Spanish. And that's just how it is in Sweden. Um, but where I want to go with this is I'm testing out the new product. We learn English in school and we learn English. But most of the shows and movies we are watching are in American. And it is not the same thing. Okay, this brush. Now I'm starting to panic a little bit because that brush was so bad for this. What am I doing? Where is my sponge? And sometimes it feels like... Maybe I can compare this to a thing that my boyfriend mom did say. 
Uh, she's from Finland and she moved to Sweden when she was just a kid. I think she was around six or seven. And she can speak Finnish and she do understand it. But she said like, when I'm speaking it, I am like a child. Like I talk like a child would do because that is how old I was when I did learn. Um, or when I did move to Sweden. So she have no problems at all to understand Finnish or talk to the relatives that still is in Finland, but she said that she talked like a child. And sometimes it feels like when I talk English, I talk the way that I learned in school. Um, and you learn like I have no problems to read English I have no problems to understand it but I think when I'm talking I use words that are like yeah the words that you learn in school and maybe not the words that you would use if it was your first language. Do you even <laughs> get what I'm saying? So even though I have no problems at all to uh, watch an, uh, a movie or a TV series or like going to... When I was in London, I had no problems at all to like understand what people were saying to me. But when I speak it, I... When I speak it, when I talk English, um, I maybe use the wrong words because that is the words I know. Is that like a super strange explanation? I'm sorry, but I, I hope. I think that you that speaks more than one language do understand what I'm trying to say because I do think that you feel uh, the exact same I hope that you do at least and okay another thing this is nothing this is nothing serious this is just a thought that I uh, had a couple of weeks ago and I told this to my boyfriend and he was like do you think about stuff like this in Sweden we have winter and in Sweden, you have to have winter tires on your car. There is different tires you can have, like some tires you can have all year round, some tires you can only have in the winter and you have to have them on like the 1st of December, even though it's snow or not, you have to have them on. So we are actually going to change the tires tomorrow, I think just to have it done and when I'm going to work early in the morning it's starting to get like really cold so I think it might can be a little bit icy when I'm going to work and I was like people that live in countries that doesn't have winter you do never have to change your tires until they are old and no it's nothing like special nothing like revolutionary but I was like, living in Sweden and having four seasons, that is the only thing that I'm used to. I do not know how it is to live in a country that doesn't have a winter. I do not... Another thing that is strange for me that as a Swede, uh, when I am uh, on vacation in a country where it's warm, like take Greece for example, it is so strange for me that it's super warm outside and it's pitch black. Because in Sweden at summertime it's like never getting dark. It's getting darker in some parts in Sweden, in summer it never gets dark. But where I live, like a couple of days in summer it, the sun never sets. It is getting a little bit darker, but it's never like pitch black. And in the summer, it's 
almost never like pitch pitch black and that is so strange for me when I am on vacation to be in a country where it's pitch black outside but it's still really really warm because when it is really really warm at night in Sweden it is some somewhat light outside <laughs> what was that even interesting to know I I do not love Sweden all the time and the weather and things I am not a super fan is this going to be so boring to talk about but should I talk about it I do it maybe we don't need to be serious the whole video um, and it's going to be boring if I'm doing a video all about this but before where now I live by the ocean and before I did not I lived like almost in the center of Sweden like in not like this but like with east and west um, and then the winters were cold it get lower degrees and it was not windy but now when I have moved to the ocean I hate the winters it can be just some degrees below zero we are using celsius I don't know what it is in fahrenheit because fahrenheit no not now uh, but below zero and it's windy and it feels so much colder and it goes like through you can put on how many clothes you want to but the cold is going to blow, blow right through them and that I do not I like the winters more before than I do now now when I live by the ocean and it's so fun like living by the ocean in Sweden I guess it's like that in more countries it is something it's a nice thing you want to be close to the ocean but when you are living by the ocean it's not that special anymore and take it from me because I have been living both things in the beginning yes I did like it but now it's like windy 362 days of the years and the years that it's not windy all you wish for it is that it would be windy because it's like the warmest days of summer there is no wind but another thing you don't know if you don't live by the ocean the windows on your house if there is a storm which is quite often is it's going to look like shit you're going to have salt on your windows and that is not a good look and I don't think that people think about that like when I see houses that are for sale close to the ocean and this they have like this big windows facing the ocean I'm like that is going to be a pain in the ass and when I've talked about this to my boyfriend he's like yeah now I can hear on you that you have changed <laughs> You are now a person that lives next to the ocean. Like, I'm more amazed by a lake than I am about the ocean. Like, when I'm going to take a swim, I'd rather do it in a lake than in the ocean. Because the ocean is not special anymore. And I've been living here for, I think it's 10 years now. It's not that special. And also the city that I live in. It's a really popular town to go to for tourists in the summer. And I just hate tourists. They are everywhere. And it's like the people that live in this town in the summer 
we do not swim in the ocean because all the tourists are there. And it's not that special. And every time one of my friends are here to visit that is not living by the ocean, they are always like, can we go and watch the ocean? And as the good host and friend that I am, I always says yes. And then we come to the ocean and I'm like, here we go, here is the ocean. And they are like amazed. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, it's an ocean. Okay, I'm going to put on some setting spray. And I have been, I used up one of my absolute favorites from NYX. That is the Bear With Me. And I had this from Urban Decay All Nighter in my drawers and I I do not like it <laughs> at all. I don't know why people rave about that. I, it's okay, but it's nothing amazing. Do you know what? I think I would just put something in my waterline, put on mascara and a lipstick and then I come back and show you the finished look. And then I'm going to be done with this super long video. I do not want to edit this because it's going to be so... Why do I do... I talk about that I don't like to edit and then I'm filming a super long video. I don't know. I don't know what my problem is. So, for my waterline I used Honey Dew from Colourpop. And on my lips I used Terra from Kaleidos. I do really like this color with this eyes and I just have to say I love this eyeshadow. I this is why this is one this is why this is one this is why this is one of my absolute favorite palettes. So maybe I could tell you what I was using. I took Ghibli and Nob Black in my crease <laughs> and then I took Mia Koopa Mia Koopa on my lid together with Creation Crown and I just think this looks freaking amazing. I have never mixed those shadows before. I think I used this together with the black only but yeah I do love this and I do actually like that I took the black in my crease to deepen it down because I think like having the shimmer over the black in my crease it really did something and i do really love this look i think it though would have looked super amazing with red lip now when i think about it so yeah i hope that you did like this get red with me <laughs> and i I don't know. I don't know what I want to say. I hope that this helped someone. I, If you have the same feelings that I have, I hope it feels good for you to know that we feel the same. And also, if you are not agreeing with something that I've said, if I did offend somebody or if I did hurt somebody with what I said, I'm so sorry. It was not my intention. I just want to do... I want to do more Get Ready With Me's. I want to talk about things that are happening in my life, things that I'm thinking about, things that is yeah going on behind the scenes. I. I don't, okay, I don't want to be like the typical consuming makeup channel anymore. It felt like it was a long time since I was that, but I don't want to be that anymore. And I'm trying to find my place on YouTube in the beauty community. And I maybe this is the way for me to go, I don't know. But if you did like this video, which I hope you did, I don't know <laughs> what's going with that, with that. If you did like this video, I'm happy for that. <laughs> and yeah, we will see how much, how long this will be. I think pretty long and oh, fuck, I do not want to edit this shit. Okay. 
I really hope you liked this video. I love this look that came out of this. This secret palette from Nobla is amazing. I do love it. And I think that maybe this lipstick is growing a little bit on me. Even though I think a red would have looked so cool. But okay, I really hope that you did like this video. And if you did not, it is always okay to agree to disagree. And I hope that I didn't offend anybody. And yeah, I'm just going to end this now. And I hope that I will see you in my next video, whenever that will be. Bye!